Hi everyone, it's Ryan from Knights Around a Table, and I have here a game called Last Will, which was generously supplied to me by Czech Games Edition. Last Will, what can I say about it? It's a game that has popped off the shelf at me numerous times, and I never quite took the plunge and purchased it um, myself, so I'm very uh, happy that, that Czech Games has, has seen fit to send me a copy, thank you so much. What has appealed to me about this game? The only thing I know, I know nothing about the gameplay of this game. As usual, I'm very shallow when I go by a game's theme or a game's looks. Really, honestly, one thing that was holding me back was the cover art, which smacked me a little bit of Clemens Franz, and if you've seen some of my other videos, I'm no fan of Clemens Franz whatsoever. This is not illustrated by Clemens Franz. This is illustrated by a gentleman named Tomasz Kucharowski, but it's Clemens Franz-esque. I don't know, if you like Clemens Franz, sure, go for it. Uh, I'm not a big fan. But what appealed to me about the game was the, uh, the theme. So what you're trying to do is you and your family be bequeathed an amount of money by uh, a rich uncle, but only one person gets the money. And the one person who gets the money is the one who spends an initial sum of money. Uh, the most, not the most efficiently, the, the quickest, I think. So it is a Victorian version of Brewster's Millions. That movie that they remade with John Candy and Richard Pryor uh, that I watched on TV as a kid. And what an amazing concept. You got a big pile of money that you have to spend in a matter of a couple days to get an even huger pile of money. That's hilarious. I've only ever played one other game where the conceit was to get rid of your money as fast as possible. And that was the Mad Magazine game, which was a parody of Monopoly. So... A parody, a satire. So I guess the you know monopoly, you're trying to gain as much money as possible, put everyone else out of business. But mad, you're trying to spend it all. Witty, satire. Uh, and I guess I mean there are a lot of card games where the goal is to get rid of your cards first. So it's a, I guess similar kind of thing. But hilarious, you've been bequeathed money, you got to get rid of it. Let's open it up and check it out. Now I have waiting in the wings off camera, my daughter, Cassandra, and she thought that I invited her down here with an innocent purpose. Just, hey, watch me do a board game unboxing, Cassandra. The real reason she's here is to account for the fact that I do not have my craft knife, which is a crucial piece of equipment when, <laughs> when unboxing board games, and I don't know where it's gone. She promised to return it, and she hasn't, so I'm using whatever the heck this thing is. Where's my craft knife, Cass? Where, where is it? I need, there's no way, I don't know how you're supposed to open a box with a craft knife. I don't, I don't even think it's possible. Look at this, I, I used this thing. There's plastic, it's not clean. It's not sanitary. I'm gonna have to wash my hands 15 times now. I don't know, I'm not that guy. <laughs> Welcome to the Mummy Dearest board game channel. I'm just kidding. You can come back. I'm goofing off. All right, here we go. Last will. Box fartometer zero. Really disappointed in the box fart quality of games lately. I don't remember opening a box that went past five on the box fartometer lately. Uh, last will instruction booklet. Did you find my craft knife, Cass? No. It's a problem. I'm going to have to work this out. <laughs> the instruction booklet clocks in at 11 pages. And I am starting to recognize now the Czech Games Edition uh, instruction booklet style. This reminds me very much of uh, Alchemists or Dungeon Pets. So it's dense. It's got a lot of text, but it's got a lot of pictures as examples. I like that. It's very important to have examples. Great, but we won't know if that's good until I try to learn the game. Punch board. Aha! Uh -huh. It is desperate to jump out of the cardboard on its own. Oh, it's all falling! It's all falling apart! Ah! What is this? Dice tower? All right. Settle down, cardboard. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but, you know, thick, high quality cardboard looks good to me. Right, bird, murder, pet, pet. Ooh, glad I didn't split that open. That looks to me like a player board, potentially. Yes, and here's another player board. You can tell because colors. There's the blue player board. Yes, lovely, nice, good. The money is not paper. The money, that's good too, because you know, you got an old copy of Monopoly. There are decades of dirty finger marks on those things. The money is cardboard instead of paper. 
and looks vaguely European. And it's little too, it's a little money. It's maybe an inch by three quarters of an inch, inch and a quarter. I don't know how to measure things. What am I? I'm just a guy. Uh, main board, adjunct to main board. This is interesting too. It depends, I mean, you know, maybe they have it in two boards instead of one big Foley board because it's cheaper, or maybe it's because it's cool, gives you flexibility about how you put things where and how you configure things. Have you found my, oh look, she's found my craft knife. Come in, come come in, come into the video from the outside world. Oh, thank you very much, my, my precious. Ah, uh, appreciate it. Now we shall unbox all the things. You're still grounded. No, she's not grounded. Ah, uh, cool. I would. I would. Would you? Oh, look, cool. Cool. I always, my eyes gravitate towards the unique pieces, of course. And what unique pieces do we have in here? But check it out. Little tiny wooden top hats. <laughs> Let's see if it fits. <laughs> no, it does not. Uh, what else is in here? Little gold nuggety bullion thing. What are these houses? I don't even know what that is. This is a chest plate for a very square looking warrior. I don't know. Nuggets, I get mansions. It looks like a little peaked roof. I have no flipping idea. You know, put that aside. Anything else interesting here? Discs. I've seen discs before. Pink discs, though. I always kind of call it out when it's pink. That's interesting. Big thick discs. And a black, uh, I'm gonna wager a guess at starting player token. Hmm, just a guess, could be wrong. But these top hats, these are, these are some slick trade. Look at that, multiple ones per player color. Oh, lordy lord. Be still my little heart. Adorable, love them. How are you not gonna have wooden top hats in a Victorian game about blowing your rich uncle's money? You're not, that's the answer and that's why they have them. Neato. Hey, those those are cool. I don't even know what they do, but I'm happy with them. And carts. Lots of these spots on player boards are spots for cards. So of course, these are the cards that will go on those spots. How do you play the game? I don't know. There's the, yeah, it looks like the rich uncle from the back of the box. Breeders Fair. Oh, breeder, <laughs> mm, horses. That used to mean people who breed horses. Now it's just a mean name for heterosexual couples who have babies. <laughs> uh, and serves them right. Nice artwork on the things. So we've got a ball, we've got a dinner. It's all very Victorian. Very, very a carriage ride. Look, it's a hectic day on my penny farthing. And my bone shaker. I was a bit rattled and my mustache nearly fell off. Uh, it's all very Victorian and stuffy. Look, you've got cameo art on the back of some cards, neato, and the game symbology. Oh, I like Victoriana quite a bit. Who's this guy? He's a waiter, and we've got reservations, and coachmen who have a little bit too much of the sauce, and a carriage, and a steward. Maybe I can play the entire game with this voice, and maybe my friends will all despise me. Uh, do -do -do. Neat, gardener. <laughs> Maybe you've already stopped watching this video. Uh, next deck. Once again, about 50,000 cards in the deck. I'm surprised. This is the second Czech Games Edition game that I've unboxed that has... It doesn't have plastic wrapping around the cards. The cards come in like a little plastic baggie and they're all opened. That's interesting. It's interesting. It's neat though. I don't know if you ever considered it, but that means that a human being peeled off the cracked cards and physically stuck them in this bag and zipped it up. A person did that. I would like to meet the person who did that and say thank you. Thank you. But I'm not traveling to Czechoslovakia to do so. Because that's an expensive plane ticket. S school chum. Look at this school chum. Yeah, neat. Oh, are these all the things you're spending money on? You're spending money with the school chum? Oh, are those... Oh, looks like there's little silhouettes of ladies on the card with the school chum. Hello, ladies. Dog, chef, guest, horse, dog again. Lots of lovely things. 
things to spend money on. Cool. All the artwork, I mean, it's funny, the artwork in the game looks better and different than the, the artwork on the cover, which confuses me at all. Is it all the same artist? Tomas? I must say, I prefer the artwork on the inside of the box to the artwork on the cover of the box. And if that's all Tomas, I don't know. Maybe the cover was, was rushed? See, that's really interesting. Huh, didn't expect that at all. Uh, I like it though, it looks great. Looks really good. Those are the cards. Those are all the cardboard, all the boards. And then the last thing is the insert of the box, which... I, <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, look at that, how creatively bent that is. I, I don't think that's creatively bent. I think that's just bent bent. That's just normal guy bent. I, think, <laughs> I was like, oh, look how elegant that looks. No, it's just warped. Um, fine, but I'm sure it does the trick for keeping all your components in big wells. That... The first thing I'm going to spend my rich uncle's money on is a better insert. That is Last Will. I'm still as excited to play it as I always was, and even more so now that I have the actual copy in front of me to crack open and, and have my way with. Uh, if you would like to see how it's actually played, go to someone else's channel. No! Uh, stay here. Keep watching, because I will play this. I'll do a how to play video, and I will probably give you my opinion in a find the fun video down the road. Uh, as for this one, thank you so much for watching. Oh no, I, po <laughs> I popped this Ziploc bag open. Whoopsies. I didn't notice what I was doing. People are probably watching this video go like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Oh, that's awful. Did you rip it open? I did. <laughs> oh, crap. Did you just watch that whole thing? Oh, hey, to 100% this video, click the badge to subscribe and then click the bell to get notifications when I've got new stuff.